So we're going to move on with our program. I'm going to ask school minister to come back on stage. Um, and I'm going to ask, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show each other respect here because this moment is about Banyana Banyana. Nothing else but Banyana Banyana. So we are going to be penny to be And I'm also going to call on the captain of Banyana Banyana, Rufilwe Jane. She didn't know this is Janine for Vague. What are the chances? Repeat the Jane. And the lady that's got the hats that can save anything. It's Adina Zabini. Alright, in this moment, I'm going to give you my job, Rafilwe. Yes. I'm going to give my job to Fifi. What I'd like you to do is to just call on each member of your team and we're just going to... Okay. But it's not yet, not yet after. But what I would like you to do is just bring up each member of the team one by one so that they can get introduced to everyone that's here today to support them and celebrate them. You in South Africa. It's so good to see each and every one of you here. We are very grateful for the support that you've shown us throughout the tournament. It means a lot to us and we're hoping that you are very happy for what we did for, for the nation. Because we are happy for what we did and we are really, really excited to see all of you here. So I'm going to call out the rest of the team to come on stage. Starting with the goalkeepers, Kaylin Swart. Rigel Ngomeni Moving on to the defenders Kakawa Damini Lebuka Ngamalebe Pambanani Mbane Kongega Kamete Nugu Alice Matlou Moving on to the midfielders Nombula Kwale, Linda Mutalo, Telia Smith, Kolosa Piana, Amukalang Mutau, Robin Moodley, Svulela Hulueni, and our attackers, Jamain Siopusimwe, Melinda Kadiete. Tamsen Magia and Hilda Makaya and we also have Tenbi Khatana. This is your team, class of 2022. Woo! Rufilwe! Nyambana the presenter. All right, um, ladies, congratulations. You have done us proud as a nation. Never did you stumble throughout the entire tournament. The mental strength and resilience of this team, ladies and gentlemen. Many would have fumbled the minute that Zambia said, no, we were hard done, we want to approach camp. But did these ladies fumble? Did these ladies fumble? Did these ladies fumble when nine minutes was added on at the end of the game? Ladies and gentlemen, can you make some noise for the 2022 Women's Africa Cup of Nations Champions? Thank you so much, ladies. Man has step up all right, um, we're going to call out Coach Desri Ellis to come to the front now. And Coach, we're going to ask you, it's your time. These are your girls. Coach Des, we're going to 
ask you to please introduce to us the members of your technical team. We'll do the same thing, call them onto stage one by one so that we can acknowledge them and the hard work that they've put in to bring back the trophy to South Africa. Good afternoon, Mzanzi. Before I introduce the team, I need to tell you a story. No. You know this team? This team is incredible. These players are amazing. Before we even left for the tournament, we had a meeting and I asked them, what are your ambitions? Jermaine Zipersen was said, we want to win AFCON. I said to Jermaine, first the World Cup qualification. She said, no, if we win AFCON, we qualify for the World Cup period. So they were so confident. During the tournament, we faced a couple of challenges. We lost Tembi, which was a somber mood, but Tembi reminded us why we were there. She said we still have our objectives to reach. We had a couple of COVID cases and the South African Football Association came through for us big time. Big time they came through for us and assisted us with that. And every time when people thought we were down and out, this team raised the levels. Our president, Dr. Jordan, always says that we must bring hope to the nation because back home, I know you were going through load shedding and some of you <laughs> and some of you might not have seen the game but we felt the love and we felt the support but most of all we felt the praise we felt the praise so when we walked out in that stadium but the day before that all reminded me of 2015 when we went to Equatorial Guinea and when we walked out, we just saw red. But your main Seposen were silenced that crowd and got us that victory to qualify for the world, for the, for the Olympics. And when we walked, when we were driving to the stadium, people were walking. And when we got there and we got inside, that stadium was packed. But this team, they were not afraid. They came there to take that trophy. <laughs> They came there to take their trophy and they were magnificent. But I'd also like to give a big thank you to Cecil. As a corporate, and I think the other corporates must be jealous. Two, two successive Olympics, 2012 and 2016. Now, two successive World Cups, 2019 and 2023. And, and, two successive finals. And finally, the gold medal. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you. So besides this incredible players, besides this incredible team, we have an amazing staff as well. I'd like to first call on our head of delegation, Emma Hendricks. The next person I'm going to call on is my right woman. She keeps me calm. She keeps me sane on the, on the field. Tina Songkem, Bully Assistant Coach. And the next person is the goalkeeper coach. That's why we have the number one goalkeeper in the African continent, Cameron Cox. When you see those players running around the field, when you see them giving their all, it's because our football conditioning coach, Rita Ali. And the lady who makes all things possible, logistically, whatever administrative issues there are, is the manager, Lauren Duncan. The lady who's big in our recovery, a massage therapist, Lizzie Mordisa. The
the shyest person in our team, but the most important person in our team, the physiotherapist, Maras Eleven Satunsa. Another former player and captain, former captain of Banyana Banyana, our kit manager, Iba Mokwape. Our medical doctor, Dr. Makoka. Our media officer, Sanatema Ambata. Our bus driver, Brabila. There's two other members. There's two other members that are stuck somewhere. The bus got lost, right, guys? <laughs> He's our analyst and a former professional footballer, Mpo Marupeng. And also our mental coach, our mental coach, Leanne Redding. She's on that bus that took some obstacles, so she's not here. This is our team, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Ellis. We do have some incentives for the team here this morning. Where's my co-presenter, Rafilwe? Co-presenter. Oh, here you are. Okay. I'm going to ask you once again um, to come next to me, and then we're going to call forward the minister as well as Dr. Yordan, so that we can give um, each of the players their incentive here today for the work and the job well done. Let me stand here next to you. I'm going to ask you once again to call out all your players to Swami one by one. Okay. Goalkeepers, Andy Ledramene, 